Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're back in Outlaws of the Old West with so many updates that have occurred lately. We have decided to restart the server and it'll be open up to everybody, of course, this Oh, well, actually, this Saturday on the stream night itself. Uh, we're going to be testing it out with a brand new update that occurred, which the developers changed up quite a bit of things. I think a lot of you are going to be very happy about this. And the reason why we did that is because you guys saw last week's stream, and I could not present this game any further with all these blemishes and issues because we didn't do the job to actually reset the servers as they were needed to. So, yes, no choice. We had to do it. Thank you to Dread Pirate Duo, of course, uh, for all his kind work, of course, to get this done. And also the developers who came out with a brand new update, which uh, really you guys are going to enjoy this. There's a, there's a little bit of something for everybody in this one, but also the most important thing, it's offline protection. That's right. So they're testing out a brand new o -O, sorry, ORR, which is online raid uh, requirement, uh, which you can build and items and stuff indestructible for players who are offline. So you can't destroy their stuff, which is where they're going to be playing with that a little bit to try and take that away. A little bit of things to kind of even it off. They're testing it out to see how it goes. I'm sure there'll be little changes uh, as they go through it. Abandoned and miners no longer drop dynamite. So make it a little harder for people to just grab dynamite. They just can't uh, harvest them off of these uh, fine people, which is going to be nice. And also, uh, yes, they, they also fix a spawn sometimes, uh, reverting to a, a previous or set spawn location, and a whole bunch of other little code changes, which were very much needed. But again, the developers are doing an excellent job at keeping track and working with the community. Again, thank you so much for that. We do appreciate it, and it's constant updates uh, weekly. So we've uh, decided to do this and jump into us a fresh start. Let's do this right away. We'll get into the game. Yep, brand new start. We're going towards a desert this time. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice little skeleton. Are we in a desert? Whoa! Hello! All right. No, we're not near a desert at all, are we? All right, we're going to have to do some work here. And we're also supposed to be careful because we're uh, pretty much uh, got nothing on us. That's right. We're starting fresh, ladies and gents. And this is where it becomes a little bit more uh, interesting when we first start, isn't it? Yes, everything matters. What the frig? What's that bandit? Oh, shit! No, no, not a bandit raid on a friggin' start. Uh, we're gonna try and get our assaults out of here. Oh my god, I can't fight this person. Alright, let's see if we can do this. I don't know if they can fight him. There's no way in hell I'm gonna fight this guy. Don't beat him. I'm gonna punch you guy. Take me for friggin' ever. We, we've had a, f a fist fight last time and it should no. Really t oh man, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die a horrible death. Time to zigzag my way through life. Get away from this fine guy who was shooting a guy who has no gun. What a way to start. Here, I'm trying to grab a couple of things. <sighs> that's an AI, by the way, if you guys are wondering. That's not a person on the server. That is what the AI just did to me. It started up and getting myself shot in the buttocks. Nothing like that. I'll probably run down into a wolf or some kind of a lion or something. I'm not even sure I am on, a, on the actual map. I <laughs> just check. He's still chasing me. Oh, my God. All right. Well, that's an interesting way to start up your day. And be running through here. I know what time is it? 4 o'clock p.m. Uh, hopefully, uh, he's going to stop after a while. I'm, I'm, I'm begging for him to stop. Uh, we'll try and get some collision. Maybe that'll stop him a little bit. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm getting my health back until he shot me. That's... Oh, Christ. Yeah, piss off the buffalo. The buffalo? Oh, yeah, the buffalo. All right, we're going to try to uh, to confuse the fine gentleman behind me uh, by doing uh, this maneuver. Yeah, baby. That's right. That's what we're talking about. Hopefully he's going to stop shooting. If he's shooting me again, then we might have to start this somewhere else and just die off. Oh my god, is he still after me? I think I might have actually worked. All right, well, yes, we're back on a brand new server. That was not a person inside the game, of course. Uh, that's not how it works. <laughs> People are not going to shoot you. This one, what I do like is that the offline protection is on now. People can uh, sleep and be happy and do their stuff and come back and build. The server, of course, is my server. We have a lot of people on the other one, which will be moving over to this one, hopefully. If they, well, they don't really, I, I recommend it. I mean, honestly, this this is uh, an MMO which has a lot of uh, a lot of updates, and unfortunately, you're gonna have to get ready for that if you're gonna join these kind of games. And then, hey, you get to build again. It sucks because some of them put a lot of you know work and stuff into their builds. Uh, we might leave that server up for some people who want to stay on it, but the frame rates will be a lot better in here. 
less drop issues. And if when you start doing too many updates on top of updates on top of updates, I can't grab that rock. It's just going to stare at it. Why not? Uh, you're going to have these kind of problems. So like we did last time. Right, let's look at our map now. We're not getting shot by any of these fine gentlemen. I don't know where the hell we are. I can't barely see that. 11. Oh, my God. All right, 16. So we're going to be going down this way, I believe. Yeah, that way. And uh, let's just show my... Yeah, that way. That is perfect. All right. At least I know where I'm going now. We definitely want to go south a tiny bit. We're trying to go towards uh, the fine coast of uh, the desert. I'm going to want a little bit of desert today. Uh, we're going to need to have water and stuff. I did pick up a tiny bit of desert stuff on, on the top ridge there, which we can eat and drink. Right now, there's those desert plants. Oh, shit. All right. Did you see that? That was absolute style right there, ladies and gents. All right. I'm trying to make my way there. Uh, hopefully I won't die, so I'm not going to bore you guys. If anything interesting happens, I'll just pick up a whole bunch of junk on the way there, and then when we get to the actual desert area, I'll uh, we'll join back and start planting our seeds down. Oh, what's this? Some berries. Berries are good. All right, while we're picking up a whole bunch of stuff, we're pretty far away from where we want to head out to. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to pick up some inventory. That, oh, shit. Unbelievable. How many bandits are in this area? How can I run into? I, I mean, I've had people say that to me before. They had to run into bandits when they first log into a server or into somewhere and they keep on getting killed. Looks like he's going to leave me alone, though. That is, that's really freaking awesome. All right, we're going we're gonna to do the craft a uh, an axe and a pickaxe right now. We're right, right away, actually. That's going to be extremely important. We're also going to need to get ourselves a... Uh, well, we're going to need some wood for that and rope. So let's see. Uh, do I grab anything? Yes, I did. Let's just uh, craft all. I don't know how many I can... Oh, that's all I can craft. All right, cool. Let's open up our inventory back up here. And if you guys have never seen this before, well, this is pretty much it. It's just uh, getting our stuff ready to go. Now we're going to need to make ourselves some arrows and stuff. I know that the, uh, a lot of people were saying the slingshot was really good. I think I'll do a slingshot. I don't know. We'll try that out. Well, I've never tested out the slingshot, to tell you the truth. Uh, I've always gone for the bow and arrow. Oh, these are the ones I'm talking about. Ooh, delicious. Delicious. All right, let's start knocking down some trees. It's been a while, so we haven't had to do this shit. Uh, you can do first person if you're brand new to this game. You can do first person and third person of you if you want to. Uh, just pressing V will do that. Just make sure you're not doing anything when you do that. And yeah, you can uh, get all the goodness. You have a certain amount of weight over here on the bottom. You can see the percentage, or you can see the actual weight itself that you're carrying. And yeah, just make sure if you're brand new. Yeah, but boy, you can survive this. Run away from them. Use uh, structural like little rocks and stuff to kind of keep them away from attacking you and such. And again, if you want to join the server, uh, it's a part of the member server we have currently with Patreon, YouTube, and Twitch. A whole bunch of people on it. So if you guys want to know more about it, come join Discord and ch ch chat to find mods and admins and everybody there. And we'll definitely walk you through what we're doing. All right, I just leveled up here. So let's see. Uh, we'll add some health points at this point. <laughs> I'm just going to put it into the health. I um, found water, but we're lucky enough with the berries and the other stuff. Uh, well, these the it's not the berries, but the, what are they called anyways? These things here. Uh, cactus fruit. There we go. Cactus fruit should keep us alive. Alive. You can see the top there. Our thirst and hunger on top left. Yeah, that's the stuff you want to see go up. That is perfect. Hopefully we won't hit another bandito or anything. We'd like to see some uh, kind of rocks and stuff so I can get some iron. The stuff would be pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, wood is going to be imperative for us to survive. So we're picking up everything we can. On the ground. It's so weird. I'm so not used to doing that anymore. We had a massive base. Yeah, I feel sad about it, but it's part of our early access, so I'm not... It's not unusual, so I'm not really too uh, too worried about it. We need tons of wood of this thing. Holy crap, that's beautiful. All right, so I spent a long time running around and trying to find the right location for us to build. I'm looking at this rock here. I don't know what's up there and how much room there is. It's tough to tell because there's so many places, but there is one right in the middle, right over there. And I'm, I'm wondering now, there's a lot of kitty cats, <laughs> deadly kitty cats in that side. So I'm kind of worried about building over there. Uh, there's this flatter land here. Now, I don't know if we can, well, maybe we should build on the top of there and find out. And we can tell whether or not we should build on top of that hill. It's very possible it could be a cool place for us to go. And it's tough to tell. Really, it is. Uh, but I think we have enough room up there to build-ish. There's one flat land over there. Uh, but right down there, it does look very nice, doesn't it? Just building right off on that side right there. Trying to get ourselves a little bit of a nice little place. Maybe uh, also a, uh, ooh, a guard area there. There is some kitty cats there, though. All right. So we're going to have to deal with that. I'll do my slingshot, which we're going to have to deal with. Some stuff. We can kind of take them out. I also stopped around and got some loot like crazy. So you guys don't have to watch that. We have enough. I did kill one animal. It was a deer. He was stuck in a rock. Not doing very much. But he was stuck here. 
That is it. Anyways, we're going to try our best. We're going to go back down and check out the kitty cap. I do want to build on top of here so badly and checking to see whether or not it is flat, flat, flat up there. Oh, we could test it out. You know what? At this point, why not go and check it out? All right, let's build this. We build our hammer. We've already built a little seen the pickaxe and the axe itself, so we was able to gather wood and, of course, utilizing it for the stone and getting some iron and other things. We've got some, uh, quite a bit of iron. Nice stuff. And uh, we'll just drag this down over here and put this into our inventory there. All right. Well, I'm hungry too. Shit. All right. Well, let's eat and drink at the same time with a fine little cactus fruit. And then we can top ourselves off with some berries. Get rid of this out of inventory. All right. Overeating is always best. Maybe we'll build up and see what we can find on top of here. I don't know. It looks really cool up there. Down there, there's a lot of cats, and I'm just worried to shit that so there's going to be problems with that. Uh, we could build ourselves a ladder on this side here. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go and check it out to see what it looks like. There is a flat one right there, too. This is a nice flat rock on the left-hand side, but I'm thinking this one looks mammoth. I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. All right, one way to find out. Let's do it. It's going to turn out at night. We're going to have to do our best and uh, trying to uh, survive this. I don't know if we could climb this without having to do that. I don't think there's any way up there. I'll be honest with you. I don't believe we can do that at all. Maybe from here? No, let's, let's see if we can do this. All right, let's... Uh, can I even build a ladder without having to build? I can. Awesome. A ladder. It's more like a stepping area. Okay, there we go. Can I do that? Oh, we can. Oh, barely. All right. Let's see if I can just get back up to the top here. Oh, that's awesome. If I can get up to the top without having to build a tremendous amount of stuff, and wasting a lot of loot. And this area here alone, as you can see, trees are not exactly the uh, the most uh, the most abundant. They're going to have to go across a little bit. We're going to have to do a little bit of work. It won't be just close by like usual. All right, so we got up here. I was able to make some of these ladders. You can multiply, put them side by side. And anyways, it works out really darn nice. And I got myself back up to the top. Now, it's not a bad area at all. It's quite large. We do have a peak over here. And we could put ourselves a couple of guard towers up at the top of this. Over there looks super flat. Like, I mean, super flat. And I'm, I'm thinking more and more, that may be where we're going to go. Uh, this is super nice. <laughs> I do like it. Just me a hell to climb up here. Uh, but yeah, wow, we could do that too. But over there, darn, that looks beautiful. There is some flat land right there on the side. Uh, the kitty cats and stuff. Mm. All right, well, I'm going to have to destroy this as I go back down. Uh, if I've come back for this, I'll destroy it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back down here. We're going to check out to see that all over there while we're trying to search out for the best possible area. And we'll leave this here in case I decide that this is going to be the one. Because, hey, if there's too many kitty cats, we're not going to be uh, playing around with them too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just run in here and get our slingshot out, ready to go in case of emergency. I don't know if this slingshot's... Well, this slingshot's awesome, first of all. It is really great. But, uh, again, it's not foolproof. Oh, there, there's there's a sound of one. I just heard that. Where is that cat? Oh, he's right there. That could make it a little interesting, wouldn't it? I guess we're going to find out. Come on. Watch out, buddy. Don't like a slingshot? Oh, damn. Yeah, slingshots are so OP. <laughs> I think if I fling a rock at you, I think it'd be pretty bad, wouldn't it? We'd be pretty darn bad, yeah. We have got enough rocks to not worry about. We have ample amount of supply of them. All right. I feel a little better. We can control that. I was more worried about anything else. I do like this plateau over there. This is really cool. Uh, again, really high up. Uh, this has a little bit of a leeway. We can create a guard tower right here and maybe a, yeah, a wall right here to protect our stuff. I think that would work out good. It's like a little entrance. Oh, I'm liking this island a lot. I'm really liking it. Now, there's supposedly multiple of them, and Emma's actually building right across from there. Uh, not too far away. We'll go look at that afterwards. Uh, oh, there's some cotton nearby, too. Some trees. Not bad location. Not bad at all. We can hit up a couple of trees. Oh, man, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. All right, let's see here. Please let it be really flat. It looked flat from back, from over there, but again, from here. Oh, that looks nice and flat there on the rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And also here is not so bad. We'll have a little bit of problems on this side. Oh, this is a good location. This is very, very good. There I am right now. Oh, wow. This is really nice. 
Oh, there's some black bears in here. Oh, crap. All right. Let's double check to see what else we can build here on this side. Yeah, I'm definitely going to say I'm going to build here. Yeah. Oh, right off the water. Oh, tell me that's super flat. I pretty close. The other one has a little more area, but this it looks like a good starter build for our base. Right there. Oh, my God. And then we can see Emma's place is right over there. I think so. I don't think we hit it. Bloop. Into the water. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. And again, there's also the uh, other side here. But again, I think I'd like to have the whole basin in front of me. Uh, we can build up on around this thing. But yeah, I'm liking that. All right, we can build this way and then bring it back around and kind of follow this rock face. Let's see if we can do that. Where's the highest part of this? It would be this area here. So this is where we're going to start building itself. Okay, so cool. Let's do this. Let's put down our roots as much as we possibly can. All right, we're going to do... So this is super high, and it goes down there dramatically. Okay. This is its highest part, right? Highest peak? Yeah, right here. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, we're going to place you down here. And that's going to be one. Where am I at now? One, two, three, four, and five. Get our fundamentals down at least. Five. And here's the problem. You see, there's always somewhere. Oh. There we go. Oh, good. There's, there's, you see, that's going to be a problem here. This is going to be a decking, I guess. We're going to have to put it as decking. It goes underneath a rock. It just has a little bit of a lip there. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It'll, it'll do. All right, we're going six now by mistake. A little extra. Yeah, not unusual with me, right? Not unusual. All right, let's, uh, I don't have a sledgehammer or anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to destroy this. I got to mill this somewhat uh, reasonable for us to kind of make our way. Might have to bring one more out here. Because of this uh, area here, a little bit of a problem. Yeah, that's gonna work out better. Look at that decking if you want to. Oh crap, this didn't go at all like I want to. Ugh. Oh, I can't wait to get the tools, get back the stuff because it's expensive. We don't get anything back unless we use a sledgy. So uh, yeah, costly. Especially when you're early on, we don't have that much loot on you. And everything's pretty far away. We still gotta get our lasso going. Oh, God, there's so much I do. All right, rotate. Beauty. All right, we can get at least a starter base here. I think that'll work out okay. And uh, this way we can kind of build outwards if we need to a little bit further. I think we can go a little further, right? A little deck there. I really want it to be as close to the water as possible. We'll see how far we can go. Oh, wow, we can really go pretty far out, dude, to do that. Okay, here it won't let you. But I don't know if it's because there's nothing there. No, it won't let me there. Okay, there'll be some limitations, uh, but I think we make it, we'll make it happen. All right, a little further out than expected, it's fine. And uh, yeah, that'll be pretty cool from there. And from here, we can even put ourselves maybe a little rounded area. These triangles are pain and you know where, and I'll be honest with you, it's uh, not pleasurable to build with them just yet. But, that being said, it is fun as hell to do. Uh, we can bring one out like this. Maybe we should bring one out and then pop it around. Let's do this here. Uh, delete foundation, and I'm just going to bring one more out here. And then I'm going to bring it around. Now, there's two different kinds. There's this one here, which kind of builds outwards like that. You can do a pretty good circle, this one. A little bit of a rounded area. Nice. So we got a little bit of a rounded view from this. I like that idea. 
That gives us a tiny bit of a, a look-see. Uh, we could go a little bit bigger if we want to, I guess, but it's going to be tough to get done with this. Uh, we can also kind of erase this part and then just make it full round if we want to. Anyways, we'll go with it. As we go through a flow, we'll kind of build out and enjoy ourselves. Let's get some walls up and rolling. Most important thing, we can always change as we want to go to, so that's going to be easy to get done. All right. Oh, frig bears right there, dude. Friggin' gripe. All uh, right. This end is not coming, so it's one, two, three. One, two, three, four. It might be a deck, so let's go one, two, three. All right, so I got one, two, three there. And I got one, two, three here. I if you guys understand what I'm doing here, but yeah, it's okay. Three. That's perfect. All right, let's get these solid walls. The corners, at least, to protect us from that bear. Uh, maybe I'll worry on that afterwards. Like that, like that. There's a freaking deer right in front of us, too. Thinking a window here, a window there. Oh, the wrong way. Yeah, I hate doing that. But hey, got no choice. Can I make it look nice? Rotate. Using the mouse wheel to rotate, uh, if you guys are wondering. Yeah, I think I'll put the door here instead. It's going to be a little gap there, isn't there? A little bit of a gap there, because I didn't do the gap on this side. We can always put... I also need to waste more and more materials. We can really go cheap and put in a wood pillar there and there just to make it look like it was meant to be that way. Awesome. And from here, we don't need a view, so I'm going to close these off here. We get the second floor. And uh, here we might build out a little bit more on this side here and make another circle and stuff but we'll see how that goes too i just want to kind of close it off and build what we can a little patio on this side maybe another one that comes out here i don't know if you do that or do this um yeah i might have to recheck how i'm going to do this here because we want to build out the patio a tiny bit. I guess it's not important right now. Let's just get the standard stuff going on our stuff here. Yeah, I think that's probably our best. Uh, maybe a window here? Shit. Uh, right there. I can do this those corner pieces is there something for corner pieces to get walls up I've never even tested that out if it'll go in a corner is that gonna be a problem I'll have to check that out afterwards I never actually tried to do those rounded parts I believe we can do it I just gotta figure out the exact way for us to kind of get I mean this is pretty rounded but oh okay maybe we'll put a door here to get on deck I don't know We'll see how that works. Okay, am I running out of wood? No, okay, good. Maybe bring it here instead? This is going to be limited here, isn't it? How limited are we going to be? Let's double check it. We can always go back down and get some wood. We need to go and get a horse and other things too, so it's not a big deal. Oh, look at that. I wonder if this will help. It helped for the other one, huh? I was able to do it. Maybe we can bring a, a stairway down here. Oh, going down to the bottom. That'd be pretty cool too. Yeah, okay. That works. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to change up a little bit of plan here. 
I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter than I thought. And uh, right over here. Right there. Might have to change that window here, the wall. Delete that. Yeah, wait a second, this is not working. Delete. Does not all have nice walls, but I hate when I make mistakes, but part of the game. And here we're gonna have another window. Alright, I'm okay with what I'm seeing right now for our build. I was just kind of like sitting back and double checking to see how everything was going to work out. Uh, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it for now. Again, this will be our first one, and then we'll have uh, the top area here. We're going to do a couple of different builds on here. Uh, we're also going to be putting up a doorway here. I just don't like the match, Steve. I just don't like the match. It's got to be because of the way I'm putting logs and that, but it's okay. Like I mentioned, boom, shakalaka. They'll give us a doorway frame. And the back here, I'm going to change that. I'm not going to put the doorway there. Well, then again, I might need it. I might just need it. Oh, so tough to tell, but it's okay. We can put up at least this ceiling. We can also go second floor-ish. Uh, people always mention that you can go a little higher and stuff. I just want to create something where I can use a stairway and stuff. So this is the reason why. The first build will kind of make it uh, enough for us to survive on. I don't have all the good resources uh, that we need currently. Again, it's all a fresh start. You know what I'm saying? Got to do an EA. EA. No kidding. It's always like that. Early access is tough. All right, that's okay there. I'll take it. You're going the right way anyway, so that's good. There and there. Rotate. Again, that's one of the biggest questions. Rotate with the mouse wheel. That is how it's done. How much logs are left? Oh, I still have quite a bit, man. I'm pretty good. I mean, I freak, I've done pretty well, darn well. Definitely log building is not expensive. Uh, well, it's expensive, but you know what I'm saying? It's not super expensive. Foundation-wise, the rocks and stuff are not cheap, of course. I'm going to have to figure out where I put my stairway. I should get some freaking doors on here, too. While I'm still thinking about it, uh, log door. We need planks. All right, let's do that. Let's give ourselves some tool crafting. We're going to need planks anyways. Where is my work bench for this? My saw bench. There she is. Leather. All right, let's get the basics. <laughs> I always forget when we first start. Basics are a pain in the butt, but they are going to be needed. Uh, we're going to need to, to get her done. Where are you? There she is. All right, so we need tannery. We do have a bit of leather I think we could make. Uh, hide, so we could drop that in there. And uh, we can make ourselves a little campfire, maybe, for the outside. Uh, you know what? Probably get a nicer campfire than that. This will take up one iron ore, but it'll look a lot nicer on the outside. We can camp to a campfire. And a little well for us to get some water. It'd be very sweet. And we're also going to need to get a brick forge, which is going to take some brick, which we're going to need a regular forge for. Yeah, we're going to need a regular forge. We have a smoker, but we'll get the regular forge for now. Which will take up 50 rocks. And then we'll be able to build up what we need. So let's do this right away. Let's grab this tannery. Take that number four. We're going to drop her here for now. We can always destroy this afterwards. Okay. Just so we get some stuff done. I don't think I have... Do I have leather? I thought I had leather. No, I don't. Oh, I need another rawhide. I only have one. Ah, oh, crap, 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 crap. All right. Well, we're going to have to go hunting. Uh, that is definitely is for sure. Crap. That didn't work out exactly the way I wanted to. And we'll do number four. We'll get a little well over here. Next to the tannery. You can come over here and hold down and use it to drink. Make yourself feel good. Of course, if you're hungry, we got tons of berries. So We also have those wonderful, uh, beautiful uh, cactus fruits. You can choose whatever you feel like. I mean, it doesn't make a difference to this guy. He doesn't give a shit. We should have brought things down to black areas. I think they would have made my life a lot easier. Taking up some storage space. Okay, so we got this, this, and uh, yeah, we need to get the last bit here, a little campfire maybe, next to all this for temporary, while we're working on this, all this stuff. We'll do it right here. There we go. 
Nice. Okay, maybe a bow and arrow. I don't know which one is better. People are saying that the slingshot is really good. I think I'm going to go full out slingshot. We have enough rocks on us. Uh, let's go and find a bear or something to attack. Hopefully not a bear. Deer would be nicer. We're going to need that to finish up or get our doors done. Should have gone after the kitty cat. I think we'll have got fur from that, right, though? I think we need the deer more than anything else. I think he went through that rock, dude. Oh, man. I think he's gone. A little tougher to hunt here. Damn. Not so easy. But I'm hitting him. It just takes quite a bit of shots to take him out cold. Damn it. There's that bear down there. I think I put invest in my ranged weapons. I think I have no choice now. And people always always say crouching. Crouching doesn't seem to help at all uh, in this game whatsoever. Now I don't think stealth is in. People say it is, they feel like it is, but I don't see it. Oh man, where the frig did he go? Oh, definitely not why you want to hunt. That's for sure. Lots of places these things to hide, and I don't know if they're clipping through these rocks and, and disappearing or not, or just jumping off the side of the mountain is possible too. Oh, there he is, the son of a beeswax. Don't jump! Did he jump? Damn it. Oh, finally. Holy crap, dude. Okay, we got four rawhide and that rawhide. Rawhide on that one. We should do us good for now, just temporarily for us to get our stuff done. All right, let's do this. Craft all these suckers takes very little time. And we also have our forge to drop out. And then we can make our sawmill. No mistake, I think we have enough, right? Yes, we do. We just need one leather and some ore. Right here, just in case you're wondering, it's 15 wood, 5 ore, and 1 leather for you to get to complete that. All right, this one's not going in my house either. It's to be temporary. Oh my god, that wood piece over there, I thought it was something else. This will be my temporary work area. We'll destroy it afterwards. Uh, but we'll at least get some stuff done. We need some bricks. All right, let's get some of this. Let's type in 25. We'll slide this bait in here. And we're going to make ourselves, what is it, craft all? I don't want 46 of them. That's why I didn't turn you on. Perfect. And we're going to do is craft... Uh, how many do we need, really, for that? Let's just double-check to see before I have to say the real forge. How much do we need for that big forge? Brick forge, you need 20 bricks. All right, so let's do 20. Let's not over-exaggerate No need to do so, especially early on. All right, ignite. Won't need that much wood either for that. And we also need a grinder completed. The grinder itself, uh, it's going to take up planks again. All about the planks, isn't it? All right, let's get the plank. Let's start making some. We also have some wood next to us. We can chop down this fine tree for now. Which will help us out. Not easy day. First day is always tough. I do love it. Don't get me wrong. It was fine location. I think it took me the longest thing. A little bit arduous, but we had a lot of fun getting it. All right, I don't think we can destroy any more than that. All right, so that's going on. That is good. And uh, right over here, we're going to be putting down our... I think we're putting on this side here. And uh, we'll do four here. Yeah, it's the right side. Beautiful. Okay. So what's the maximum I could do here? 111. We're not going to go with all that. We're just going to do... 
shift click and left click if you guys wonder who that is if you're brand new and yep we're gonna do 40 let's do 40 40 is a good good number good strong number and we're also gonna get a storage crate to put down our stuff in. and that's gonna be some time i think i need planks for that too so it's gonna take quite a bit of planks might have to do more than that let's uh let's do another 20 five beautiful so it's going to continue 62 of them will come out we can go around and maybe hit up a tiny bit more of the trees around this area while the bricks and everything else kind of get completed yeah we got 14 more also see if we can find ourselves a kind of bit more animals up here hopefully our disappearing deer will come back it looks pretty cool though let's see if there's any trees down here just down the coast again this place looks freaking awesome it is really treacherous uh to be walking around in there's a lot of animals oh I think he's stuck inside that rock. I'm serious. The poor thing. He is jammed inside that freaking rock. All right, let's hit up a little bit. How much can we get from this, anyways? About 20? I horribly not believe that that deer is stuck inside there. It must have rendered in by the time he ran into it. Let's grab a tiny bit more. We're also going to need to find ourselves a nice horse, a good steed. Oh, there's so many things to do. That's what I love about a brand new season. Oh, there he is. There's one more. I don't know if he'll disappear. Let's try crouching. Yeah, it makes a difference. You see, he'll run like 16 miles away from me. That's where the horse comes in really handy. I set this baby up. I do find things a lot smoother since we did the full reset. And a lot better, too, overall. They've done a really good job, developers, on this game to making the game a whole lot better. It's not perfect. There's always going to be little issues. It is EA, and it's starting, you know, fresh. I think we're doing pretty good. And what are we have now? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Let's grab another stack here. And this one, I'm thinking about building my wall over here. Right across from here. So, it'll be a little bit of an entrance way. A gated way for them to not enter. We'll try our best to do it and uh, see what we can get completed. There's also a here that we can mine this baby up and get a little bit of rock. And also some iron ore, which we're going to need a whole lot of. Oh, my God. Yeah, I did a lot of it off camera, so that's a good thing, right? You don't have to sit there watching all of it. We have to do a tiny bit. And this game, of you know, takes a little bit of grind. But I'm liking where we're building. We're going to go back and check it out and see what we can get completed. Again, I would love to get some more leather and stuff, but uh, it's not always going to happen right away. And get some clothes would be kind of nice too. Definitely clothes. But we're going to have to go that direction over there and pick up a lot of loot we need, which means we're going to need a horse. There's some coal right next to us too. And there's a freaking deer again. He just walked to that freaking rock. He's stuck in there. Yeah. Let's see if he's in there. I don't know where the hell he is. They're freaky as hell how they just kind of get themselves in there. Right, we have our bricks here. That's getting going. I think we turn this off. We have only two more left. That's awesome. We have our planks. And we can build our doors now. At least we'll finalize this before we end it. So you guys won't be mad at me for not doing so. All right. Grab this. And I'll make a door here. Hinges on the inside, always important. I might never keep this, it might disappear, I don't know. I'm just going to put it there for now because I haven't finalized it, but it's really early in the build for us to kind of finalize anything. And also we can make ourselves a nice little stairway. Now this takes up regular wood, which is sweet. We could make that happen right here. Yeah, the stairway going up here. Perfect. And then we'll just put up more flooring. Then we're going to go outside and check it out to see what it looks like from the top here, from the side at least. Not bad for the first freaking day, you got to admit, I, considering how much I walked around, uh, I'm, I'm more impressed that I, I was able to build this much. <laughs> it really was. We're going to need to get some walls up anyways, and also some pillars if we need to, to stabilize this. It's not so... It's not, it's not strong enough. We're going to be building up walls and stuff that we'll deal with that. But yeah, we're going to be able to go up here and do the work. 
But for now, I think we've done excellent work overall. Uh, that will probably change a whole lot, but for the first day, we got ourselves something built, and I do appreciate that very much. So very, very cool. So thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying this, please make sure you take time and smack the living crap a like button. And of course, if you're brand new, make sure you subscribe. I really do appreciate all your amazing support. And if you're going, if you want to join the server, uh, this is going to be launching on Saturday. So for everybody to join up. And if you guys want to join a server, of course, you just have to be a member. And yeah, more information on Discord. There is an invite on Discord below. Also, follow me on Twitter. You can chit-chat with me there, too, if you want to. It's always very much appreciated. You guys are absolutely awesome. This is Game Edge, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.